Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Plus Size in Canada. I'm so glad you're here today. Can you tell where I am? I'm actually parked beside like basically my dream vehicle. Um, freaking love it. It's gorgeous. I pulled up beside and I was like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> I have been doing so well with eating healthy and exercising and not restricting, but also not binging and trying to create a balance in my life in every way, in every single way. Eating healthy is so much easier when you have the food in the house that you require to eat. And my favorite foods are the fresh fruit and veggies. And to have that, you need to buy it on a regular basis, which makes me so glad that we have a Costco 20 minutes from our house because that is the most affordable place to buy quality produce and quality other health foods too. <laughs> you might get it for a better deal somewhere else, like on sale or something, but I'm telling you the quality at Costco is like no other. Maybe Sam's Club. A lot of people are asking me, don't you have a Sam's Club? Don't you have a Sam's Club? No, there's no Sam's Club in Canada. I don't think. I Googled it like a month ago and Google was like, no, sorry. <laughs> Not in Canada. I wish we had one. I think they seem like very similar stores. Um, and I've seen like hauls and stuff on YouTube and I think, oh, I want the Sam's Club. <laughs> Groceries are going up everywheres even at Costco, but especially when you're buying in bulk, like when you need to buy a lot of food for your big family or your teenagers that literally have no respect for the amount that you pay on groceries, they just won't stop eating. Oh my heck, you guys. I know it might sound like I'm complaining and I am, um, but if you knew, if you knew the amount of food that both of my boys eat, but my oldest is definitely like a bottomless pit. I, I, I it astonishes me. It is like it, it, it's shocking. And Curtis and I are exhausted <laughs> because yeah, we're spending a ton of money, but like we go out and spend a ton of money, bring all the food back and then like go to the pantry or the freezer or the fridge. And we'll be like, where's where's all the bacon? Where's all the clementines? Where's all, where's all the chips? Where's all the fries? Did you just eat an entire package of hot dogs by yourself? Did you just drink an entire package of 10 juice boxes in one sitting? Literally. <laughs> no respect. No respect. <laughs> so I'm going to keep shopping at Costco because I literally can't starve my children that would just be bad parenting okay <laughs> of course i'm joking okay i'm a good mom trust me i just i need to keep providing for my family so that's what i'm doing and while i grocery shop i definitely think of every person that lives in my house and also the four-legged kind of like a person but he's also a dog i think about him too um <laughs> I always buy something special for everyone and I try really hard to get everyone's favorite. Oh my heck, this guy just parked literally so close to me that scared. Oh, did you see the fear in my eyes? That lit oh, I was like, are you going to hit my Jeep right here? Like, whew, okay, we're all, we're all right. He's parked. He's unbuckling. I'm sorry if that scared you. The look of fear is very real. I'm going to go into Costco. I'm going to buy all of the things. I did bring a list. I have it with me. I'm going to look at it in the store. I am declaring. I will look at my list. <laughs> the struggle is real, guys. I can make the list. Sometimes I forget to bring the list. And I usually forget to look at the list if I happen to remember it. And sometimes I literally think, Miranda, you should look at your list. And then I'm like, oh, it's in my bag. I don't want to have to get it out. I need to get out of here. If I forgot anything, it's probably at the other end of the store. And I'm not going back. So, yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a saga. <laughs> Miranda's grocery sagas. Entertaining and sexy. <laughs> I also just took some me time. I just went to Value Village. 
and Frenchie's um, two thrift stores here in town because it had been so long since I went thrifting and I just needed a minute. I just needed a minute and I took it and I found some really good stuff. So you guys will get that haul tomorrow. I'm really excited to show you. I found some really good Disney stuff and some things for Winnie, something for Curtis, something for Skylar. I did, I did good. So I will show you guys that tomorrow, but I think I might have to give Jasper one of the stuffies that I picked him up at Frenchie's in this vlog, because once he smells my bags and knows where I was, cause he knows the Frenchie smell, the thrift smell, he's like, what'd you bring me, mom? So I'm definitely going to have to give him something. I got him three stuffies, I think. So you'll see that later. But let's go into Costco. It's starting to snow. We're supposed to get a bunch of snow tonight. And then it's going to go up to like nine degrees, like plus nine. It hasn't been over minus 14 in like two weeks. But tonight it's snowing like 10 centimeters. And then it's turning to rain and warm weather and it's going to be a flipping mess out there. So I want to get all my groceries bought. I want to get back home, everything put away and then settle in with my family and have a good family night together with hopefully everyone at home. Curtis isn't working tonight, but Curtis and Skylar are both on the fire department, of course. So if they get a call, he'll be out anyways. But first, chicken salads sweet potatoes please be there <gasps> let's go shopping i'm coming for you costco i'm gonna make you my bitch <laughs> and 90 cents at Costco and I got so much. Normally I do write down on each product how much it actually cost, but um, just for the sake of time, my time that is, I'm not gonna do that today. <laughs> I did show you in the clips while I was shopping. I did show some of the prices while I was shopping because they had some really good deals, guys. Like, especially, like think about it. The thing of spinach that I picked up for $2.99, when I didn't have a Costco membership, I was paying, I think, $8.99 for the same thing at Superstore. That's, uh, uh, and that was years ago. So like, how much is it now? Like $12.99? <sighs> Probably. <laughs> Before I get started my haul, I want to say hi to my cashier. Hi, Melissa. She was so sweet. And I said something and she laughed. And then she's like, I know that laugh. And she's like, do you do YouTube? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> 
she was so sweet. She watches the vlogs, so I wanted to say hi. Um, she was a great cashier, and honestly, Costco doesn't pay me to like hype them up. They don't need the hype because they are the hype, and their employees, are they not the best employees at any store you would ever go to? Honestly, I doesn't matter if I'm buying a car, if I'm buying groceries or like clothing or anything, Costco employees are just the best. It's like they are happy to be there. They're very helpful and I appreciate that as a shopaholic. <laughs> and at least the employees at my Costco, you can always tell that they are smiling. They're always smiling. And no, I can't see their faces, but I can tell because of the eyes. So thank you, Melissa, for making me smile. And I know you're gonna be watching this vlog, so high five, girl, you rock. Here is the mother load. And to start things off, I got something new. I've never tried these before. Um, I seen these online on the Facebook Costco group um, of like the Moncton store, which is so great because every time they post something, I look at it because I don't want to miss the deals. I don't want to miss the good things. Actually, one thing that I'm missing, and I did ask an employee and she didn't know where it was either. The Kodiak cakes, they were on my list. Couldn't get them. I walked all around that store. I really did multiple times. Actually, so many times that um, the people that were trying, like the sample people, even though you can't sample things in the store, they still talk the whole time. And some of them give you something to try in your car when you go home. I don't really understand why that's necessary right now. Um, but it is what it is. But like, I knew what they were going to say next. Like I, I knew the spiel. I knew the line. That's how much I was walking around the store trying to find the Kodiak cakes because I'm obsessed. They're the protein pancakes and they're so good. Um, and I only have a little bit left. So I'm hoping that they get some more back in soon because I know that that is going to be a very expensive item at any other store because it's one of those like health foods, you know, they always charge more for them, but at Costco, they're only $12.99. So I'm hoping they get them back in. Anyways, <laughs> I seen these online and somebody said that they taste like pineapple. They're white strawberries, you guys, ripe and ready. Pine berries. Oh, so maybe they do. Yeah, maybe they do taste like pineapple. I'm going to be trying them at the end of this haul. So you're going to find out here in a couple minutes. I'm excited to give these a try. Of course, I also picked up some beautiful red berries when he was like, yeah, can I just eat the red strawberries? And I was like, yeah, of course, Winnie. Um, I got some blueberries as well and some green grapes. I'm not a huge green grapes fan. If I'm going to eat grapes, I prefer the red, but these are from a baby. Curtis prefers the green. He actually likes to freeze these and then he eats them like a sweet treat. So he's trying to eat healthier, even though he kind of always has. He's a little bit motivated to um, eat healthier and live longer just like me. So it's good. It's just like, I, I get a little jealous. <laughs> he only started trying to do this literally like in the new year. So starting in January, he's already lost basically all the way he wanted to lose. And I'm leaving it at that. I'm not giving you a number. Just know it's a number. And I'm like, but I try so much harder than you. I didn't actually cry, but the inside of me did. <laughs> but anyways, nevertheless, I absolutely love him to death and want to support him. So I will buy his favorite healthy foods as well. So I got him the green grapes. I got this lettuce, which I love. It's not really heavy. Like there's not a lot of leaves in there, but they're great with any sandwich or sub, or you can make a salad or two out of these as well. And then there's the beautiful $2.99 big frigging package. Like that is the big size. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, but $2.99, you guys, I was paying $8.99 for this. What a rip off, eh? $2.99. Thank you, Mr. Costco. Who am I kidding? We all know it's Mrs. Costco. The store is just too good. It's definitely a woman in charge. <laughs> I got some more baby carrots. And you guys, I'm going to be honest about these baby carrots. For the last couple years, I've been buying the gourmet baby carrots. The ones that look like carrots, like with the green stem and they're peeled and beautiful. I've been a carrot snob. I flat out have been a carrot snob. And I'm here to tell you 
that I've turned over a new leaf. And these baby carrots are good. <laughs> what the frig? <laughs> these are good. Like, honestly, $6.99 for two big packages, okay? That's the price for both of these, $6.99. If you were to buy one of these big bags at any other grocery store, you're paying $6.99 or more, but you get this much at Costco. These are organic, so maybe it's because they're organic. I don't know, but they are magnificent. I got myself a family size Caesar salad for myself. <laughs> I will not eat it all for supper, but I will eat some today and some tomorrow. I just don't mix it all at the same time so it doesn't get wilted and greasy and gross. I got some more delicious mini peppers. These stay so fresh in the fridge. And honestly, they're cute, okay? I love them. I also got some beautiful organic green beans and some beautiful little mini cucumbers. Can't forget about that beautiful dill pickle salad. I got two of them this time. And this, whoa, Nelly. Where does the term whoa, Nelly come from? Does it come from Little House on the Prairie? Because Nellie, she was a bitch. <laughs> Hate her. Maybe Charles was sticking up for Mary and Laura and he was like, whoa, Nellie, <laughs> take those ringlets somewhere else. <laughs> I'm trying this broccoli again. I've tried it before and I'm really picky, guys, because sometimes, actually, I'm not really picky, but I can taste contamination, okay? And I'm talking about like the fake kind of contamination that Curtis teases me that it's not real. But to me, it is. The last time I had these, it takes on a little bit of a plasticky smell taste, um, but I'm going to give it a go again. And maybe if I need to add a little more salt or something or just wash it a little extra, um, I'm going to try it again because it is a very good deal for all of that broccoli. And Winnie loves broccoli too. So this would be something that her and I could enjoy together. And did you see my sweet potatoes dance in the store? The last time I was at Costco, I searched high and low for sweet potatoes and they didn't have any, but today they did. And I'm so excited because actually maybe you've seen it in yesterday's video or maybe you caught a glimpse of it already in this video, but my in-laws gave us an air fryer. My mother-in-law got it for Christmas from my father-in-law and she doesn't really like it. So um, she was like, do you guys want it? And Curtis was like, Miranda, mom asked, do we want that air fryer? And I was like, a oh, hell yeah, a oh, hell yeah. <laughs> because it was a gadget that felt very gadgety to me. And I'm, I'm a gadget sucker. Okay. Listen, <laughs> diet culture. Okay. How many of you guys did the same thing? Because probably I'm not alone. But I watched that movie, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead, which is about this guy who, I think he's Australian maybe, nice guy, um, but he was fat, sick, and nearly dead basically, um, was getting all of these illnesses and stuff. So he goes on this like big time juice cleanse. I can't remember how long he goes on it for. It's a while. Um, and he loses a pile of weight. He gets so healthy, blah, blah, blah. Guess who went out and bought the exact same juicer that he used in the movie the day after I watched that movie and felt motivated? But how much did that juicer cost? Yeah, the, the 250 bucks, you know, <laughs> give or take. <laughs> the story only gets worse because I tried uh, some juices for the first time ever in my juicer that I bought. Um, never had a juiced juice before. Um, hated it hated it hated it and i was planning on eating only that for like 60 days or something didn't get through one day made it to supper day one and then i was like i'm so hungry yeah that's why i'm proud of myself the way that i'm doing this now because i am losing weight i am getting healthy i don't have a goal i'm loving myself and I'm just living every single day, feeding my body. Like treats, sure. When it requires a treat, absolutely. I will treat myself. But I will treat myself with love and not with lust over food. Like give it all to me now. Give it to me, baby. <laughs> so I was thinking I wanna try some sweet potatoes in the air fryer, but then because not everybody likes sweet potatoes, I also got a bag of these white potatoes that were like two something for, what is this, a five pound bag? 
that's a good deal. And these are like cute little potatoes that you know you just cut a few times and then you can make some easy hash browns. Love that. We got some of our regular appearances here. We got some blueberry and some plain bagels, some garlic toast, hot dog buns, and Ben's whole wheat bread, three loaves of that. We also got some of these tortillas. Let me just top that on the top and there we go. We got a carb tower, y'all. The last time I went to Costco, I did not get my veggie straws and I greatly missed them all week long. Guess what I'm having as soon as I'm done this haul while I'm making supper and maybe after supper too. <laughs> I also got a bag of Ruffles plain for $5.49. I got some more hot rods for Skylar. Here's hoping they make it the week. <laughs> yeah, right. And I got some shredded cheese as well and a big old honking pack of cheese slices for some grilled cheese sandwiches this week. And there are 60 slices, so I'm sure they'll last longer than this week. We needed some more eggs, so I got some of those. And Curtis wanted some more beef wieners for my boys. But I mean, we'll all eat this except for Winnie. Um, I got some fully cooked bacon so they can make themselves some breakfast sandwiches. And I got a big old pack of lean ground beef for $25.23. And then a big old pack of sausages for $14.99, which is an amazing deal because this is two layers of sausages and they last in the freezer. I bag them separately. Well, not set. I bag serving sizes separately, not each individual sausage in a bag. That would be quite stupid. <laughs> I got two of my beautiful rotisserie chickens. Of course, the boys favorite the Heinz tomato ketchup which has gone up as well it's still just under nine dollars but barely this was the first time that I bought this package from Costco Sensodyne is my favorite toothpaste but it is super expensive now it's like six dollars six something I feel like it's a 6.59 perhaps at Walmart um, and actually it might even be a smaller package. I don't know. It's too expensive. So I've been buying the arm and hammer instead. It doesn't taste as good, but, um, it is much cheaper. It's like two or $3 cheaper a tube, but arm and hammer it, you can taste the baking soda. Like it is gritty, but I mean anything for a deal, right? At least in Curtis's eyes. <laughs> And he knows how expensive regular Sensodyne is, so he wants me to get the cheaper stuff. And, like, we don't argue on stuff like that. I Sometimes I'm always right, and sometimes I let him win, okay? <laughs> I got this, though, for $20. It was $19.99 for four, so that's definitely a better deal. I'm actually thinking the ones at Walmart are a smaller box. I'm not sure though, because I haven't bought this like in over a year. So I'm excited to have a Sensodyne again. <sighs> I do have really sensitive teeth. That's why I have to use Sensodyne or else my teeth will be in pain in hots and colds, mostly colds. I'll be like, he -he 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 -he. I need sensitive toothpaste. <laughs> The Dawn dish soap was on sale, so I grabbed another package of those. And their chips were on sale too for $11, I wanna say, something like that, for 50 bags of chips. The kids go through these very quickly too. I got this package of individually wrapped hummus. I love these. These are so good for me. I really do love a dip, and this is delicious. And honestly, I'm the only person who eats this in the house, but Buying it in individually sized packages means I'm saving money because I'm saving food. There's no way I could go through like a big tub of hummus by myself before it would go bad. But this way, 16 in here, guys. These will last me a few months and it's such a treat. I love it. I got Skylar and Cooper some fruit by the foot, which they have been asking for. So they'll be so happy to have that again. And these cookies are for my boober man. <laughs> he loves these cookies so much. And actually, Addie really loves these ones. So basically, I just got that for Addie and boober. But I think Cooper will eat them too. And I'm getting on board with the makeup wipes. I've seen these countless times online. And I've never tried them 
ever. Maybe I should try it in this video. Okay, keep watching. I will. I'll try it in this video. Um, the reason that I bought them is because I accidentally bought some waterproof mascara. I put it on not knowing. And that night when I went to take my makeup off with my regular makeup remover, um, which is not really a makeup remover, but it does remove my makeup. It's just not like sold like that. Hey, remove makeup with us. No, it's actually Oil of Olay um, daily face cleansing wipes. It's what I've used since I was in high school. So <laughs> I still do use other cleansers and stuff for my face, for my acne and stuff. Um, but that is what I use every time I have makeup on. And that night it would not come off. And I was like, babe, what am I going to do? I lost so many eyelashes <laughs> trying to get it off. Um, basically I tried everything that I had and I just had to continuously wash them because my eyes get sore um, when I wear mascara for too many hours. So I have to get it off. It's not like I could have went to bed and woke up the next morning and went to find some makeup wipes because like literally my eyes would have been bloodshot red and so itchy. So anyways, I'm going to try these. They were $19.99. Um, they were on sale actually. So good time to try them. And I know I was going to buy them at Costco because I know like all these thousands, probably millions of people who continuously buy those. They can't be wrong. They must work good. But I will show you at the end of this video. But for now, that's the haul, guys. Let's try these. Okay, these are called pine berries. So apparently they taste like pineapples. These ones I've washed. These ones? Yeah. Cheers. We're going to try Cheers. it together. <laughs> It tastes like a strawberry. Damn, that's good. It's pretty good. It's a strawberry though. It doesn't taste like a. It doesn't taste pineapple like pineapple to me. Who told you that? Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> yeah, they're good. Hmm. They're they are a different flavor, but they still do taste like a strawberries. Bit but they're pretty much a strawberry. Hmm. Huh. Good. But red strawberries are better. A one stick sauce. Right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Really? They're really good. Got to put those in some whipped cream and they'd be great. I almost forgot to show you guys these. These were on sale for $13.99. I've had them before. I've never bought a giant package of them. These are little like sand bags but they're hand warmers. Like they, I don't know what it is. It must be like a chemical reaction or something but it's these little packages that warm up and if you put them in your gloves they keep your hands warm i've always bought these at like the dollarama or like a dollar store around christmas time when we go to the santa claus parade which has been canceled for the last two years um but we used to bring them when we knew we were going to be outside for a long time and freezing um but because sometimes it's like you know minus 35 yeah. out here Teenage freaking boys. Look at Are all Are you that. kidding me? Who put an empty box back in the fridge? Good thing we refrigerated that. <laughs> wow. Not surprising at all. Um, anyways, this is for when I go for walks at minus 35. Like an idiot because I mentally feel better when I go for a walk, even if I freeze. So that's why I bought these. I'm going to have to try. Actually, maybe what I'll do is I'll put some right in my coat pocket um, now, so I'll have them when I go for my walks because sometimes my hands feel so cold that I think, oh no, is, is today the day I lose a finger? Even if I'm wearing two gloves, two sets of gloves. Yeah, I'm a little bit dramatic, but seriously, my fingers are important to me. You probably actually noticed, um, my fingers, Just shut up, <laughs> um, that when I was leaving Costco, it was so cold and my fingers were so red. So actually, after I sanitized my hands, I had gloves. They were just in my purse and I wasn't using them like a smart person would have, um, but I wore them the whole way home. So that was smart of me, right? I wore them inside instead of wearing them outside. Mm. Oh good. Chicken Caesar salad. Oh, hell yeah. I got some bacon in here. 
Squeeze a lemon on top. So good. <laughs> All right, I'm down in my room. I'm gonna get ready for bed. I just opened up this box. So it comes with this little travel pack that you can put on the floor or in your purse. <laughs> and then it comes with five of these packages. So that's cool. Like that's that seems like a good value for sure for 20 bucks. So I'm pretty sure all I need to do, it says easily removes 99% of your most stubborn makeup, removes even waterproof mascara, which is what I needed it for, gentle enough to use around the sensitive eye area, blah, 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 dermatologist tested, blah, 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 alcohol free. I think you just, like, they're already wet. So let's just, okay, it's already coming off. Ooh, they smell good. They smell clean. You see my windburn from snowshoeing yesterday? <laughs> see, I think I actually will need to use more than one of these because um, I don't have foundation on. I just have, um, ow, I rubbed too hard. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I will need to use more than one of these but even if I have to use two of them to get my makeup off. See, when I use, <laughs> Winnie and Curtis are playing um, Mario Kart. When I use my regular Oil of Valet, um, they're dry. They're dry wipes. And um, you put them like in water, you scrub them and they get like foamy and that's what I use. And I just use one. Actually, when I only wear mascara, I cut them or rip them in half and just use a half of one. So you can definitely tell I was wearing some makeup, but maybe it's just me, but I don't like to like, I would not put my finger back on this spot and rub my eye again with that area. Maybe that's my OCD or maybe that's just the way you're supposed to do it. It's like rubbing dirt on dirt or it's just, to me, that's not helping the cleaning. So yeah, like I wouldn't say, yeah, I'm not going to say I definitely will switch. I'm going to stick with my oil of valet for sure. But these are going to be great to have because they're already wet. Um, like when we go swimming, go to the beach and stuff. If I was wearing makeup and I need a quick like, ah, I forgot I'm wearing makeup. I got to take it off. But I think for everyday use. I think I'm gonna stick with my oil of LA just because like I'm still, like I'm still getting makeup off and I don't wear that much. <laughs> but like when I use my oil of LA, I only have to wash my face like one time with that. You know what I mean? Like I don't have to keep going back over. And this is not waterproof mascara. This is like my good stuff. That's not waterproof, this one. Anyways, good to know though, and I wanted to try them, so I don't feel like it was a waste of money. I feel like I got a very good amount for my money, and this will be great to take camping too, but like I said, I'm still going to wash my face. Like, In fact, I think I'm going to throw this in the garbage and wash my face with one of my oil of LA, but that being said, Neutrogena, no hate. Like, I think you'll come in handy. I just, like, I'm not wearing that much makeup and it took, yeah, I'm gonna use my oil of LA now. <laughs> okay, normally I do this at the sink, so you're just set up on my makeup case, so it just makes sense to show you. This is the tried and true, and I went over and looked in the mirror at my eyes. I still have mascara on, and I rub my eyes a lot, <laughs> so, yeah, look at that. What the frig, dude? Come on, Neutrogena. And this is why you can't trust someone who's getting paid to tell you they like a product, okay? You just can't. And that's why I will never accept sponsors unless it's something I actually use and like. Also, hot tip, I don't open my eyes when I'm doing this because that would just be stupid because this is soap. <laughs> 
Oh my heck. Okay, let me go rinse this off. The makeup is officially off my face and I feel refreshed and clean and Neutrogena, you're just okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stick with my oil of Olay. <laughs> Do you want a new toy? <gasps> a new toy for Jassy. Oh my sakes, why? Where's he taking that? Because it's kind of big. <laughs> There's his new toy. Good boy. All right, you guys, we're going to end the vlog here. Thanks for hanging out with us. We will see you back here tomorrow. Bye. Love you. Bye. Hey, you win!